My name is Brad, and I'm a facility manager with the U.S. Department of State. I actually graduated University of Texas with a degree in uh, a Bachelor of Arts in Music. I was a jazz trombone player for a little while. Originally, I thought I was going to go into the Peace Corps right after university, and instead ended up working in France as an English teacher for a year, where I learned French. I then joined the Peace Corps and served in the Peace Corps in Namibia and had a great time. And while in the Peace Corps, wanted a job that was a little bit more difficult. So I found uh, humanitarian medical aid and spent 10 years in Africa working in humanitarian medical aid in conflict zones. And while I was in these conflict zones, I was, uh, had a, a lovely mentor who suggested I find a way to end that season of my life and to look at something else. And I always liked working for things that were larger than myself and that gave back in some way and that enabled people to work uh, more effectively than just if I was the only person doing it. And so I was looking at what I was doing in the humanitarian medical aid realm and decided that facility management was really hit a lot of the um, points that I personally loved. The, the technical, the managerial, the leadership, and it gave me a focus and I started looking at where would I like to work and I always kept coming back to the US government and so when I found the State Department I originally thought that I was going to go in and be a generalist and I dug a little bit deeper and found out that there were positions called specialists and the facility management realm is a specialist position in the US Department of State and so when I found the facility management uh, role, I applied for it um, and eventually got the position and I, I love it, I really love it. The facility management role is about getting things done. It's, it's, it's about making sure that people are safe, that they're secure, and that the buildings function as they were designed. And at the end of the day, you're kind of a force multiplier. You and your team, because it's not just you, you manage a large team, and your team allows everyone in that building and everyone that works for the government abroad that's under Chief of Mission Authority, which is under the ambassador, to do their job better. Because without you and your team, there is no electricity, there is no running water, there's no air conditioning, there is, is no, there's no internet, um, because it's all attached to the, the building and the, and the building shell. The Bureau of Overseas Building Operations, OBO, is a diverse organization and they're not just diverse in where they work. There's a domestic side, there's an international side as well. As a Foreign Service Specialist, I'm almost exclusively sent to the field, which is uh, embassies and consulates uh, internationally. Sometimes during your career, career you will be uh, uh, asked to come back to, to Washington. There are positions available in Washington, but for the most part as a Foreign Service Specialist, you will serve abroad for the majority of your career. OBO requires flexibility and has so many different requirements, whether it's building new embassies, maintaining embassies and consulates and properties such as what I do, that we require a diverse group of staff, not just Foreign Service Specialist, which is considered a U.S. direct hire, which means I'm employed by the State Department, but we also employ contractors, personal service contractors, and third-party contractors. This allows OBO a bit more flexibility to respond to needs and requests around the world as they arise. So one project that I'm a part of is we're building a new embassy in a country that I'm serving in currently. And when the United States government builds a new building, it's not just a building. It's an investment in the future of that country. Our buildings are meant to last 40, 50, 60, 70 years. Some of our buildings are hundreds of years old and some of our uh, uh, larger posts such as Paris and, 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 and Rome. And to be a part of the future of a country is amazing. As a facility manager, I and my team are building the future investment in that country through the United States government day by day. So everything we do there allows everyone else in that building Every policy, every project, every, every grant that goes to that country to happen. We are a part of everything because we allow the people to show up and work in a clean, safe, secure building and not think about it. And it's a wonderful feeling to be a part of this giant organization and this large organization and to be able to really be a part of the history of U.S. diplomacy around the world.
because we make it happen.